It's just hard to hear. I've grown up with it. It's just something you hear about all the time. It's an unfortunate reality for these Franklin students who are part of a larger generation that has grown up witnessing one school shooting after another. It's sad, but it's like I can't say I'm surprised it happened because stuff like this happens all not all the time, but you know, more than it should happen, which is upsetting. For me, it's especially been something since a young age that I've just kind of been aware of and you kind of just learn that it's something you see fairly regularly. You know? Angry about that. Yeah, it's it's not it's it, it's a horrible thing, and I, I wish there was more that was done about it. Sometimes you still get scared, but it's like you still like you still come to school every day, and you're still kind of taking that risk and having trust in the school. Specifically, what happened yesterday in the events in Texas, there was a lot of anxiety with the staff and also with the students. The city of Franklin is trying to ease those anxieties. That's where canine comfort dog Miller comes in. The resources that we provide with Miller is is enormous. Miller is now stationed in the schools with his handler, school resource officer, Kristen Tracy. These kids want to talk to you and they want that resource. And now you add the dog in, they actually want to talk to the dog and they feel even more comfortable opening up to you. And tonight, Franklin's police chief tells us there will be an enhanced police presence at all city schools for the rest of the week. He says it's an effort to provide both support and a sense of security to staff, students and parents. Reporting live in Franklin, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.